Hi artists, welcome back to your online art room. It's Mr. Feature here, and before I tell you what we're going to be doing today, I wanted to see if you could guess by looking at these materials. If you guessed paper mache, then you would be correct. There are many, many things you can make from paper mache, and loads of artists use paper mache in their work. Here are some examples of what artists can make from paper mache. These examples range from very normal to quite unusual and a little bit quirky. Over the next two weeks, we're going to be making a bowl from paper mache. If you can make a bowl from paper mache, then you can use the same process to make different sculptures in the future. Now, you're going to need a few items from your art pack for this lesson. For this task, you will need a bowl and a spoon. Now, you could use a whisk from the kitchen instead, but a spoon would be fine. Flour. A balloon. You have two balloons in your art pack, but you just need one. Newspaper. And also newspaper ripped into strips. Finally, you'll also need a black marker. Can you guess why we've given you two balloons? Let me give you a hint. Sometimes this can happen. <coughs> Ooh. All right, let's clear these materials away and prepare our workspace. Laying out newspaper is a great way to prepare a messy workspace. At the end, you can just simply roll the newspaper up and throw it in the bin. You're going to need a lot of newspaper ripped into strips. So I would suggest ripping a whole lot today that you can continue to use for the next two weeks. Your next task is to mix your paper mache paste. This is where you'll need an adult to help you. To make our paper mache paste, we're going to use flour and water. It's around about the same amount of flour as water, so if I'm going to use one cup of flour, I'm going to use around about one cup of water as well. If the paste ends up being too thick, add some more water. If the paste ends up being too thin, add some more flour. The consistency that you're looking for is similar to glue. So keep mixing until you have something that looks a little bit like glue. Now blow up your balloon, take your marker and draw a line around the center of your balloon. You will need an adult to help you do this. This is a little bit tricky. The goal is to have a line right around the center of the balloon that joins itself again. It's a good idea to use a big cup or a bowl to place your balloon in while you're working on it. Make sure the part that's facing upwards and the part that you're working on doesn't have the balloon knot. Make sure that's inside the cup or the bowl. Take a strip of newspaper and dip it in your paste. Using two fingers to make a pair of scissors, pull the strip of paper through the fingers to take off most of the paste. Then place it on the balloon. Keep taking strips of paper, dipping it in the paste, taking most of the paste off with your fingers, and keep adding to the balloon. You want to crisscross with every strip of paper across the balloon, because this will make your bowl stronger. And it's okay to go over the black line you've drawn with marker, but just keep in mind that anything over that line is going to be cut off later on. Your goal today is to add three layers of newspaper and paste. In a couple of days time, your newspaper will have dried and then I'd like you to add another three layers of newspaper. Your goal before next week is to have six layers of newspaper and paste on your balloon. This is going to make it strong enough before we add legs and finish our bowls off. If you have any paste left over, Make sure you put it in a sealed container and place it in the fridge. If your fridge is like mine, you might need to make some space first. 
Well done at grade two on starting your paper mache bowls. Make sure you find some time in the next few days to do another few layers of paper mache. Your goal is to have three layers done today and three layers sometime between this lesson and your next lesson. That way it'll be strong enough to add legs and finish the bowls off. I know that you've been using cardboard and clay with Miss Kits, so I'm really excited to be using another material to create form. Paper mache. Please make sure you tidy up everything you've used today. Your paste should be in the fridge. Any dirty newspaper should be in the bin. Dirty bowls and spoons should be in the kitchen. And your messy space needs to be cleaned up so that it can be used for other things. Please also find a safe place for your bowl to dry. It needs to be in a place where it can't get knocked over and it can't be blown over by the wind. I would suggest a high shelf, but anywhere out of the way would be fine. Now, I know I've said it a few times in this video already, but it's really important that you add three more layers after today before our next lesson. You really do need to have six layers on your bowl before we add the legs on and before we finish it off. Until then, bye-bye.